sing Luke chapter 17. Verse 26. And as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat. They drank. They married wives. They were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. Likewise, also, as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat. They drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory. To the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep their faith. But God's for people here for a bear. Ain't nothing new up under the sun, Israel. We're seeing the same thing, the same spirits coming back, ignoring the words of the Lord. These, these are the same spirits. They got flooded out, Israel. These are the same spirits. Because look, look, look at their behavior. Flood-like behavior, man. See, and we, we're talking about the Israelites, but, but everybody on the face of the earth. Look at their behavior. This is flood-like behavior. And I got that from the elder um, Yatazak from Dallas. He came up with that, that phrase. Shalom to him. But yeah, look at look at the majority of the people on the face of the earth. Look how they conducting themselves. But oh yeah, the Lord's supposed to come and just save them, right? The Lord's supposed to just come and save every wicked individual on the face of the earth. Everybody saved, right? Hey, all these wicked people are saved already, right? Really? Hey, you look, look. Keep believing that nonsense you want to. Cause, cause like the scriptures say, they chose death over life anyway. You see, the, you, you see it, man. And the Lord said the same they was acting back then, at the same way they're going to be acting now. But guess what's coming? Fire. Yeah, nothing but boom, 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 boom. That's all you're going to hear. That, that's all you're going to hear. And you got it's like they know this scripture right here, man. They, they know how it's going to go down, but it's going to be way worse than you can ever imagine. But look, but look how they act in Israel. Flood-like behavior. St. Luke 17, 26. And as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. You, you, you had someone out there preaching. Noah, Noah was preaching. Matter of fact, let's just get it. Noah was preaching. I don't, I don't know if y'all know that or not. I mean, I, we know they don't teach nothing about the Bible in the school. You see, so if you're not learning the Bible at home, if it ain't nobody at home reading you these words, you know what I'm saying? You, you don't know what's going on. You don't know what was going on back then. You don't know how the people was acting back then. Plus, like what we always go through, the majority of the people think the Bible is a fairy tale book. They don't think these stories are real. Hebrews 11. We're going to just prove what Noah was doing. It says in the days of Noah, we're going to show you what, the, what Noah was doing. And look, we're going to show you, and the scripture told you what the people was doing. They was buying, they was eating, they was selling, they was having sex, they was married. They was acting stupid as all know what, mocking, scoffing. You know the drill. Hebrews 11 and 7, by faith, Noah, remember? Noah, right? Being warned of the most high, of things not seen as yet. Noah was what? What was Noah doing? Prophesying. Telling you what was going to happen before it even happened, right? And these things are going to come to pass just like it came to pass back then. Noah was prophesying. We're prophesying. All the prophets prophesied, Jeremiah 28 and 8. By faith, it took faith for Noah to preach this word. As, as long as he did too, 120 years. You know, you know how many years of mocking and scoffing he had to go through? You see, just putting up with Jake. For, for 120 years preaching the word and he was building the ark and nobody didn't listen except for his sons, their wives and his wife. 
And they're the only ones that got saved and delivered. The Lord says it's going to be worse this time. He prophesied of things not seen as yet. Move with fear. Prepared an ark to the saving of his house by the which he condemned the world and became heir of righteousness, which is by faith. So our faith is what has us out there teaching his word. And these words are faithful and true. So everything that we teach is going to eventually come to pass. Let's go back. St. Luke 17. What I'm reading now is eventually going to come to pass. Okay. You, you, you ain't got to believe it. Well, we're not here to make you believe anyway. Once again, only thing you're going to hear is when, when you ignore the words, the only thing next after that is boom, 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 boom. Because look, America is not our rest. Babylon is not our rest. Remember Micah 2 and 10? St. Luke 17, 26. And as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. We, we read what Noah was doing. He was prophesying. Everybody else was doing what? They was eating, drinking. They married wives. They were giving in marriage. Just sex, 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 all kind of lewdness, all kind of debauchery. Same thing that's going on now, but it's worse than them. Until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. And these people flood type behavior right about now, 2022. You celebrated thanks stealing, thanks robbery, thanks slaughtering. You voted. And what did it do for you? What did it do for you? Your damn bill still high as hell. You, you, your rent didn't go down. You still catching hell on that job. And it ain't going to change, Israel. The only time things are going to change is when we get the hell out of here. That's it. Shit, after I do this lesson, I got to head out the door now. This, this ain't our rest. You know, it don't matter how you feel. You still got to go to damn work. But, but nonetheless, likewise also, as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, same thing, just spinning their asses out, just buying anything. They planted, they built it, because people think this is their rest still. You see, that they, they, they can't fathom that the men are, that are out there on the highway, the Bible is prophesying, or prophesying of things that's going to really come to pass. So they're just eating, they're just buying, they're planting crops, building community ties. Give me your money. Give me your money. Where the bulldozers at? You see, I need plumbers, electricians. I need it all, right? Right? We, we know that, right? That's what they're doing, right? But the same day, letting you know right there, they don't know what the hell time it is, you see? The scripture says, I should have to write it to you what time it is. You should know already, right? But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven. Boom, 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 boom. And destroyed them all, man. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. It's telling you, it's going to be just like that. It's going to be just like that, man. When the Son of Man, when Lord Yahweh is revealed from heaven, man. Let's get this. Just throw this in here right quick. 2 Peter chapter 3. We'll start at 10 for the press of time. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. That thief coming, man. Just like people won't looking, looking out and watching out for that thief. Thousands of years ago, they're not looking now, but he's coming. In the which the heavens, meaning this rulership, shall pass away with a great noise. What's going to make that happen? Them ICBM missiles, those intercontinental ballistic missiles, right? And the elements, everything that you see, including you. If you if you don't get right with the Lord, if you don't repent and turn back, you Israelites. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. So even though you, you planted, you built it, you see... You got all these material gains and wealth and all that. It's going to burn soon come Israel. It's going to melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. The Lord going to burn the hell up by way of that fire, right? Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons are ye to be? Are you going to ignore the words like people did thousands of years ago when Noah was on the scene? Are you going to ignore the words thousands of years ago when Lot was on the scene? Because they was both prophesying, telling people what was going to happen before it even happened. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person are ye to be? 
How should we be conducting ourselves in all holy conversation and godliness? We should be repenting, getting ourselves together. You know what I'm saying? Getting our acts together, getting our minds right because the Lord is on his way and he's bringing destruction. You see, the Lord is on his way and he's bringing hell with him, which represents destruction, man. You see, fire. Dude, shit, the slain of the Lord shall be from one end of the earth to the other, man. You see, how should we be conducting ourselves looking for and hastening until the coming of the day of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Remember, boom, 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 a boom, 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 a boom, 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 yeah. Yeah, and look, look, and we're proper, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them. As a veil upon a one with child. And look, you know they ain't gonna escape. The Lord said they shall not escape. Joel, just a quick little hit. Joel chapter 2, verse 1, and it reads, Blow, blow ye the trumpet in Zion. Look, look, feed my sheep. You got guys taking two, three months off, four months off, five months off, years off. When the Lord said, the, they hit the highways and byways, and now you don't see them no more. You, you think the Lord is happy with you? You got men that's supposed to be warning the children of Israel. Instant in season, out of season. But now they don't want to warn no more. You think the angels, and you think the Lord got the angels looking at you in a good light? That are hitting them streets and ask for forgiveness and pray that the Lord put that spirit back on you to go out there and prophesy? Because if not, you're a marked man. Get back out there and prophesy. The scriptures say, what? Blow you the trumpet. What the Lord said, if you love me, told the apostle Peter, the head apostle, no, if you love me, feed my sheep. Told him three times. Letting you know how deadly serious he was, man, and how deadly serious this message is. Get this message out there to the people. Warn them. Because if not, their blood is going to be on your hands, man. You see? Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm on my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is night at hand. A day of darkness and of gloominess, right? A day of clouds and of thick darkness, meaning when the missiles hit, right? As the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong, they have not been ever the light, neither shall be any more either it. Even to the years of many generations, a fire devoureth before them. And behind them, a flame burns going into the missiles, right? And the land is as the Garden of Eden, a paradise, right? But before the missiles here, right? The land is as the Garden of Eden before them. And behind them, when the missiles hit, and behind them, a desolate wilderness. Yea, and nothing shall escape except for the elect. That's it, man. That's what we got to warn the people, man. The Lord didn't say, um, um, when you get tired, you ain't got to warn the people no more. No, the Lord said, warn the people. He don't give a damn how tired we are. You see? The Lord don't give a damn about our work schedule. He said, go warn the people. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired, man. I'm tired. I'm sleeping. I'm sleeping. We'll sleep in the kingdom, man. This ain't our rest anyway. Sleep is for the dead. Go warn the people. Ezekiel 3 and 17. You think Noah won't tired? He prophesied for 120 years and he was building an ark. The Lord made it more easier for us in these times because technology is a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? So, where well, look, you really ain't got to do nothing, man. Just turn the camera on and pull out your sword. You know what I'm saying? And you can um, pull up the app, you know what I'm saying? A Bible app on the phone and go out there and prophesy. Ezekiel 3 and 17, son of man. I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word of my mouth and give them warning from me. And the Lord said, do it instant, in season, out of season. Fire is coming, man. Fire is coming. Let's get this Isaiah right quick. I'm going to bring out two more probably, and then I'm going to wrap it up. Isaiah chapter 9. And the Lord said, throw it, Terry, wait for it, right? Isaiah chapter 9. Verse 5, better hit them streets, better hit them streets. For To whoever apply, you better hit them streets. You men, you Israelite men has been taking them breaks. Nobody's seen you in a while. They go to your pages, dry as hell. 
Three months, four months, five months, damn near a year. Nobody ain't seen you. Think the Lord don't you? You should have known the Lord gonna eventually have somebody go to your page. It's all through the spirit. The Lord was gonna eventually have somebody go to your page and see that you ain't been doing shit. We just hide behind the radar. You can't hide behind the radar. Hey, remember the angels everywhere beholding the evil and the good. Probably you forgot about Proverbs fifteen and three. Isaiah 9 and 5 For every battle of the warriors with confused noise And come, you got to go out there and warn the people about that sea hip About that karagma that they're getting ready to make mandatory You see? Martial law The race wars, class wars, civil wars You see? The economic wars, the gender wars Warn the people, man Isaiah 9 and 5, for every battle of the warriors with confused noise and garments rolled in blood going into the ancient battles, how they was fought. But this, but this war shall be with burning and fuel of fire. You see, a nuclear war, man. This is going to be a nuclear war, man. The Lord, look, the Lord ain't playing. This is Isaiah, this is my last one because I got the roll. Isaiah 54. Isaiah chapter 54. Bear with me. You, you, you Israelites really thought the missiles, you know what I'm saying? Hey, missile. Hey, missile. Now nah, you thought the missiles were going to stay in that museum or stay wherever they at. No, man. The missiles getting ready to fly, man. Isaiah 54 and 16. Behold, I have created the smith, which is a scientist, the modern day scientist, right? That blew up the coals and the fire. Gave them the technology to split the atom. But we're the crazy ones, though, right? And that bringeth forth from, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work, meaning that missile, right? And I have created the waster to destroy. Destroyed. So those missiles were created to destroy Israel. So the Israelites that don't repent, it just told you what the missiles were, are going to do to you. Destroy you, man. So like I said before, just a quick warning through the spirit that you have. About Shemesha, a whole lot of false prophets are going to end up in that fire, man. Yeah, a whole lot. Your favorite um, false prophet that's on the internet right about now looking real shiny. You know what I'm saying? I mean, their continents look dark as hell, but their outfits looking real shiny. They're just jet setting, just stomping up and down the street. The majority of them are going to end up in that fire, man. As it was in the days of Lot. Only thing they're going to hear is boom, boom, boom. And then it was Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai. Then they're going to say the name. But what is Lord Yahweh Shai going to say? I never knew thee. I never knew thee. And that's the worst phrase that you can ever hear. The fire rises. Shalom.